Hello everybody. Well today's video is going to be a little different than, well, not too much different than what I do, but something interesting. Well, today while Angie and I was waiting for my father-in-law to come down, he's come down uh, for a little bit to visit, we noticed that our neighbors across the street was getting ready, you know, getting rid of their camper. Camper's been there for 25 years, is what we was told. 25 years. So we thought that would be an interesting video, you know. So we'll show you, we're going to show you how that perspired, you know, how things kind of went together after that. And we met some new friends, you know. Uh, friends of my neighbors are now our friends. Awesome, you know. It's always good to meet new people. It truly is. Had a great afternoon, folks. I'm going to let you guys see it, you know. And, um, yeah. And I have a few words to say after, you know, it's all said and done. Okay, so enjoy and we'll see you when I get back. Good morning everybody. I'm outside. <laughs> well we're outside and it looks to be it looks to me and my wife that my neighbors are gonna move the old window or the old camper out of the yard. Well I'm telling you it's gonna be a tight fit. I have no clue how they're gonna do this. So if they do do this, we're gonna try to get it on video and hopefully they won't mind. But this should be quite interesting. Yeah. We'll be back with you. Well guys, they're slowly making progress. They got the darn thing to move. But I'm gonna I'm I like to see how they're gonna get it out of this driveway. This will be interesting. Ah. Well, we'll get it as it comes. Okay. They're still working on the truck or on the um, <laughs> camper. Uh Angie and I are sitting here. What we're hoping will happen is when they pull the camper down, they lose control of that. It goes across the street about hitting anybody, though. We don't want nobody getting hurt. And slams right into our Grand Prix. And total it. Much as I left my car, if it's totaled, we can get a new one. That's right, because that'll pay it off. So, we're not sure what's going on yet. We'll, be, we'll get back with you, trust me. Okay, guys. We believe there's another truck coming in to get this beast. They tried to have it. They did have it started up for a little bit. It was running on ether. But it's been sitting there for 25 years. So, check out this beast right here. That's a big old dirty for you right there. Free advertisement. <laughs> All right, guys, this is a big dirty right here. Beautiful. We're gonna give the Nissan a jump, well they are, and we're gonna try to see if the tires are locked up. We're gonna say goodbye to the Nissan, hopefully. I'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, here we go. Not sure if it's going to work or not. It's been there for about a year and a half. Thank you. And we're going to see if this works. So we're going to find out here in a minute. And then we're going to try to get this big beast out. Yeah, they ain't forgot about that yet. Just kind of taking a break. <laughs> I was just recently told when they uh, ran this hinge here, which is a... 2,000 pound hinge. It ripped off the bumper of that thing up there. Unbelievable. I wish I was up there to get that. Might have a future YouTuber coming up, guys. And this one starts making videos. That'd be definitely something to see. Yeah. I might have yeah. another subscriber, too, huh? <laughs> yeah. Junior Yale. Okay, guys. We're still all hanging out here, getting ready to see what this car will do. See if the brakes are locked up on it. And then, I'm never gonna get one of those the big finale, they're going to try to get the Winnebago out, or the camper. Yeah, something like that. Just go with it. Alright guys, game's on. Um, the update on the Nissan, they're going to have to come back and get it later tonight. So, that's out of here, but uh, the other thing they're going to get mowed, or, sorry, uh, my mind's not with it. The other thing they're going to get towed is the big camper. And they got the big truck, so... Oh, uh, when they get this started, I get started. 
Oh, this is going to be the truck that's going to move it, folks. Mighty Mouse. Oh, well, let's just see how mighty this mouse is. It's got a very big load. Alright, guys. I'm just wasting time to get this big boy moved. Nice big dirty right there, isn't it? Oh, I love the sound of them pipes. That one's for you, FD. Well, they're up there trying to decide how they're going to get this thing out of the driveway. It's not going to be easy, guys. You have bushes in a way, and them bushes wasn't there 25 years ago. Yeah, we figured up how long it's been there. Bushes wasn't there 25 years ago. So they got a very tight turn, as you can see. Right there, see? Very tight. So we're trying to figure out the best way to get it down. This should be interesting. And I'm going to get every bit of it on video. And by the way, YouTube, I have their permission. Yeah! Alright guys, I'm not going to be having this on tripod. Without us even knowing it, they must have got it started. Guys, this thing has not been started in many years. And they got it started. So I got a feeling we're going to try to get it down on its own accord, you know? Tell you what, we're gonna go over to the tripod so I get a better uh, steady hand on that. I'd be a son of a gun if they didn't get that thing started. You know, the traffic's slowing down through here. Because we've got two big trucks out there and. This could be interesting. Alright guys, I'm going to see if I get a better shot. Calm down, guys. You look amazingly like one of the guys who goes to church. Oh, they should know who Christ was. Yeah. I want my left. Oh, straight shot, and you come down the driveway. The gentleman that is part of the moving crew said he's kind of worried about the brakes a little bit. I can understand that. They're going to probably be stopping traffic when they get this thing coming down the driveway. The moment of truth right now. The brakes fail on his... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. The brakes fail... I gotta be ready to jump out of the way. Huh? I'll be like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting ready. If this thing comes down, I'm I'm going. <laughs> I get to see that's going. Oh yeah. Definitely. It'd be like <laughs> strength. Right on the hey, it's one thing I do not want to go through. Oh, you and me both. My dad had a older no, but mm -hmm. not not like the sports or you know the super sports. Oh yeah, it was the older type deal. Here it comes. Here model, I say. This way. All right, guys. Just in case this thing fails, I'm gonna move a little bit out of the way, just in case. He's running down the street to stop the traffic. Twenty-five years, guys. Son of a gun if it ain't running. Woo! Oh All right. There it is. It's down, guys. Uh, we didn't get to see the tow truck. After all, yeah. <laughs> all right, I get back with you guys in a little bit. There's a lot of excitement going on around here, folks. Now it looks bare. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's a lot of excitement, a lot of happy people right now. The trailer's gonna be taken. Here, hold it. All right, the trailer's new home is gonna be Sparta, Kentucky for the Racing Ministries, folks. That's where it's going. The SFD, you heard that correct. Racing Ministries. And the new owners, well, one of the new owners is right there. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I imagine we're going to try to hook this up to the tow truck, and I could probably get a little bit of that. But the big excitement's over with. I was sort of hoping they was going to pull that thing down on the tow truck, but you know what? I'm glad they didn't have to. All right, guys. Well, they got the trailer out of here, and the big red dirty hits left, and yeah, it looks completely different. Some happy people all the way around. <laughs> yep. Very happy. Very happy. Yay! <laughs> These are my neighbors, guys. So. We are happy. It's gone. Smile, you're going to be on YouTube. <laughs> and it's going to be All right, we'll tune back in after a while, guys, and I'll give my closing thoughts. All right, it's been a heck of a day. This might have been about, mm, all together, three or four hours of preparation to get this beast down, but it came down. Everything was good, and yeah. Well, there you go. Let me tell you something that we didn't see in the video. Not that I know we've seen it. When Ed's bringing that camper down, it was a gentleman sitting in the seat pouring gas into the carburetor because the fuel pump was no good in this camper. So while he was bringing it down, while he was bringing it down the dangerous driveway, he was sitting there feeding gas trying to keep that thing running. The biggest scare was the brakes. I was going to shoot all this on tripod. I had a good spot for it. But if the brakes would have went out, I would have been dead. Yeah, Grant, that would make great YouTube footage, but Bubba don't want to go that fast. I got a lot more videos to make first, you guys. But anyway, like I said before, I made some good friends, had a great time, and they're going to be back later tonight to pick up the Nissan, um, Dern Bandana, um, which, you know, it can stay there. I don't care. Heck, it can stay there forever. It don't matter to me. But... Um, they're gonna get it later tonight so yeah <laughs> I said it a lot today there's a reason for it my 400 videos coming up remember I'm trying to put all the times I go yeah and all you know one big lump sum but anyway folks it's been a quite a day it, it truly has I picked up uh, some new subscribers I picked up some friends and I'm also there's gonna be some you some new youtubers out there too I'm going to talk to her in the email. I think if she gets a camera, I believe there's going to be another YouTuber out there with some good videos. Seriously, way better than mine, I'm sure. So, hey, until next time, guys. I'm one Bubba Mike one, and I'm going to go in there and edit this up. I'm also a little hungry, too. How about you? <laughs> All right. It's going to storm, too. I forgot to tell you that. But let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go.